at six turbulent times ahead as the pressure on the UK's economy intensifies. With inflation now expected to hit 10% by the end of the year, the Bank of England raises interest rates to 1% and says they could rise again very soon. We will have to come back in about six weeks' time and reassess all the evidence again. And because the situation is so unprecedented, that reassessment is particularly important because we're dealing with things that you know, haven't been seen before. And there are now warnings of a possible risk of recession. It comes as the energy giant Shell announces more than £7 billion in profits in just three months, a record rise. Rescuing civilians trapped in eastern Ukraine, we report on the volunteers, among them a British maths teacher, who are risking their lives to save people as Russia attacks. I'm quite scared most of the time. Covid has caused the deaths of almost 15 million people around the world, says a report by the World Health Organization, almost three times the number reported. And the return of royal garden parties after Covid, but Buckingham Palace says the Queen won't be attending this year. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, the Europa League has a lot to live up to after a dramatic week in football so far. Both West Ham and Rangers are hoping to reach the final. Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at six. Interest rates have risen to the highest level in 13 years as the Bank of England tries to curb soaring price rises. Rates have gone up for the fourth time since December from 0.75% to 1%. Inflation, the rate at which prices are increasing, is also expected to hit more than 10% by the end of the year, the highest level for 40 years. It's being driven by rising fuel, energy and food costs, partly due to the war in Ukraine. And there's more bad news. The economy was predicted to grow next year by more than 1%. Now the Bank of England expects it to shrink by 0.25% amid warnings of a real risk now of recession. Our economics editor, Faisal Islam, has the details. Butter seems to be the biggest price impact. It's